Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I finally got this in the mail, so I want to share with you what I got and how I created this look. So if you're interested in knowing what I got and how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Before we get to it, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me. Click on the little notification bell while you're down there so you get notified all the time of my future uploads. I upload two videos every week. So without further ado, let's get to it. I received the BoxyCharm base box yesterday, August 10th, but because it was my husband's birthday, I didn't want to just film it and ignore him and pay attention to this. My husband is way more important than BoxyCharm and I hope yours is more important than BoxyCharm as well. Anyway, um, so I got it. I'm really excited. So let's just dig right into it and see what I got. Let's do it. Okay, so quick review. BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box. You get either the base box, the premium box, or the luxe. You get the base box every month is 25 bucks. You get the premium box every month as well. It's 35.50 or 37.50 after taxes. And then you get the luxe every three months instead of the base box. So every three months, you get the, pre the luxe instead of the base. We got that out of the way. This is what the box looks like. And we already know that this is a the theme. I got variation number two. It's in the bottom right corner. I'll put this to the side so I can read along and show you what I got. So the first thing that I see in this box, this is the Violet Bus Essential 2 Eyeshadow Palette. It's a 10 eyeshadow pan. Oh my goodness. All right, let's just uh, pretend you didn't see that. So <laughs> This is what it looks like. It's super pretty. And these are what the shadows look like. They're super pretty. This blue is calling my name. This retails for $36. The next thing that I got in my box, Clarence Paris 04 Velvet Lip Perfector. This set is a liquid lipstick with a weightless mousse texture that delivers a highly pigmented velvet finish with a soft blur effect. It says it has she butter and it leaves the lips hydrated for hours. Ooh, it's so fluffy! Look at it! You squish it and then it comes out. It's nice. It's very nice and creamy. Definitely like a mousse texture. Let me show you. It's like a dark fuchsia, magenta, maybe. The next thing that I got in my box, this is the Realer I Am Inspiring Definer Brow Pencil. It's a long-lasting micro-tip pencil that allows you to create individual like hairs for your brows. There we go. It's just a brow pencil, really nice. It retails for $16. The next thing that I got in my box, this is the Hydrate Restore Hydro Glow Sleep Serum. Triple action hyaluronic acid for all skin types. Wake up looking fabulous and great every day with glowing skin. And this retails for $44.95. I was reading the ingredients on this and although it says it's vegan friendly and all that good stuff, it does have fragrance and perfume, so I am very iffy about that, and I might most definitely put this to the side for a giveaway. Then, last but not least, this was my choice item. I got the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I got the shade Golden Beige. This retails for $29, and I don't think I need to explain what a concealer does. So let's add all this up, and I'll tell you what the retail value of the box is. Okay, so the box retails for $151.95, and I paid $25 for this, so definitely got my money's worth for this month's box. I got got one, two, three, four, and five full-size products. Um, my final thoughts I will share with you at the end of the video. I will make a look with the things that I got in this box, so stay tuned.
look that I created. My final thoughts on this box. Not a big fan of this lip velvet lip perfector. It is definitely a very smooth and mousse-like texture. That feels great on your lips. Although it looks pretty matte, it's not drying matte. It's a very moisturizing matte. I like it. I'm just not a big fan of the lip stain kind of finish that it gives you like you've been I don't know eating eating a popsicle for a little bit and then it just kind of like stained your lips it reminds me of the Glossier Generation G the eyeshadow palette was great overall they blended really well and really nicely together the concealer it's amazing easy to apply it's not drying or anything it doesn't feel like it's cracking on your skin or anything so I really really enjoyed this the brow pencil it's so smooth and so glidey and I love the shade of it because it literally just gives you hair like strokes those are my final thoughts on the box the better box hat to be the premium bucks this month. Um, my favorite item of this box was definitely the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Let me know what your favorite item for this month was. I feel like uh, BoxyCharm is having a lot of trouble with their um, production team in terms of reliability. Like last month they were super late, um, very 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 delayed, and then this month Although they opened Boxy Pop-Up, the Boxy Choice was supposed to be scheduled yesterday for early access and then it was rescheduled and then it was rescheduled and now it's supposed to be scheduled today. I understand they're having technical difficulties, but um, I mean, they should get their things together a little bit better in my opinion so let me know what you think about all this that's been going on have you gotten your box yet don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it would mean a lot to me and click on the little notification bell while you're down there so you get notified all the time of my future uploads i upload two videos every week so i want to see you here next time don't forget to give me a big thumbs up see you next time bye